Hi, this is Suchi and in this video, we will be discussing about the second rule in conditional formatting. So let's get started. Let us consider this scenario. We need to highlight or we need to know which are the top 10 rates available here. So how we can do that? The same thing, conditional formatting we will be using. We will select this. We will go to conditional formatting. We will say top bottom rules and from here we will select the top 10 items and when we do that we can select with which color and what formatting exactly we want to apply on that top 10 rules top 10 cells and not only top 10 we can even have top 20 we can change this value as well let me select it with green and say ok so after I do that, I can check whether it is correctly done or not by filtering with color. This is one way and if I select it, you can see the count is 20. So it's correctly selected top. But the other way to verify is we can simply select this part and we will do a shorting with rate and this will order will be largest to smallest say ok and we can see the top then now we want to see what are the bottom 10 rates so for that we first need to go to the home tab conditional formatting and then top bottom rules from there we will select bottom 10 items and I want to select it with yellow filled with dark yellow text. I will say ok and I want to see whether the correct things are selected or not. So as we can see from the bottom the 10 items are selected. So till here it is fine. Now what if instead of top 10 I want to select the top 10 percent of the rate. So what are all the rows which are falling under top 10%? If I want to see that, how I can do? First let me clear all the applied conditional formatting. Let me clear all the rules from here. And now I want to see what are the top 10%. So how I can do that? I will again select this. I will go to conditional formatting and will say top 10%. From here I can even change this value to 5% or 2% or maybe something else but let me keep it as 10% for now and I will select it with red I'll select it with red light red fill with dark red text and I will say ok now let me move upward you can see that top 10% is selected how we will verify that? So here I have found out the count. So count is 35871 and the 10% of it is 3587.1. So according to that if I filter it by color then this count should be 3587 which is matching. So actually top 10% is selected. Now what about bottom 10%? Let me clear this filter and let me add this bottom 10% conditional formatting. If, if I select bottom 10% and I will add this formatting yellow fill with dark yellow text. I will say ok. As you can see from bottom there are formatting applied. Now let us filter with this yellow color which is our bottom 10%. What if I want to highlight all the rates which are above the average value? Or maybe 
which are below the average value. How can I do that? That is also possible using conditional formatting. We just need to select this and we just need to go here and say above average. So average will be calculated automatically. We don't need to do anything and we just need to select what is the formatting we want to apply if it is above average. So if it is above average, I'm going to apply this green field with green text. So we can look into it. As you can see here, I have already calculated the average value. So this is the average value, 88.87113. And if we will look into this transition phase, we can see 88.87 is not highlighted, whereas 88.89 is highlighted. And 88.89 above, everything is highlighted. So here we can see 88.87113 is the average value. So whatever is greater than this is highlighted. Same thing we can do with below average. We can just select below average and we can say highlight it with this this formatting light red fill with dark red text and we will say ok and same thing we can notice here if we will look into this you can see 88.87 is red whereas 88.89 is green so this is how below average and above average rule works this is it for today and in our next video, we will discuss about the next room. Till then, keep implementing. Thank you.